Okay, in this lesson, we are going to try to solve some common problems that uh, involve polynomial functions. Uh, so sometimes you can translate the words of a real world problem into a function, and then you can use that function to solve a certain problem. So I have a problem set up already, and this is a common area uh, problem. So let's read it. Jessica recently got married and has to decide on a frame for her favorite picture. The wedding picture is 40 centimeters by 50 centimeters. Okay, so there's two parts of this question. My first part is, if a picture frame has a border of uniform width, determine a function that models the total area of the picture and picture frame. So sometimes it helps to first draw a diagram of the problem. So we have a picture, okay, and we know that it is about 50 centimeters by 40 centimeters. And uh, Jessica wants to put a frame around it. So let's draw our frame. Okay, so there is our frame. And we aren't given a width of the frame, but we know it's uniform. So uh, let's let the width of this frame be equal to x. So that's the width of the frame. It's going to be equal to x. Okay, and we want to model this situation using a polynomial more specifically you want to model the area of the picture and the picture frame okay so from your uh you know previous years you know that area is equal to length times width okay so we're looking at the area of the entire picture and picture frame so what is the length of the picture frame let's go back to the, di the diagram here the length is going to be the longer side of my frame and since uh this is 50 right here we're going to add x and x to our 50. so our width or sorry our length is represented by 50 plus 2 x where x we don't know right okay so Let's model the width now. So we know the width of the picture is 40, but including the frame, we have to add 2x. So there is my width. Therefore, the function that represents the situation is a is equal to length, which is 50, plus 2x. Okay, and you're going to multiply this length by the width, so 40 plus 2x. Okay, so that's one way of writing it, but also notice since we are working with functions here, we can write area as a function of x, and that's going to be equal to the same expression that I had in my previous function. So there you go, there's two forms of writing this uh, polynomial function. Okay, so now that we have um, produced a function that models the situation, we want to answer part b. And part b says, Jessica has a choice of three frames, okay, that have a uniform borders of 2.5 centimeters, 5 centimeters, and 7.5 centimeters. So which picture frame should Jessica get if she wants the total area of the picture frame to be between these two values? So to answer this question, we're going to use the function that we produced in part A. Okay, so these three values represent three different x values. So we have three different x values to find or so to evaluate with so we have 2.5 and we have 5 and we have another one at 7.5 so in our function we're going to let x be equal to each of these values and whatever value gives me an area between 3,500 and 4,000 is going to be my answer. So uh, we could plug it in and do it algebraically, or we could use the calculator because it's actually quite fast if we do so. So go to your calculator. What you're going to do is you're going to graph it. Okay, so go to your y equals screen. You're going to go graph the function that you derived, so 50 plus 2x. Okay, and then multiply that by 40 plus 2 x okay so let's uh let's try a zoom six standard for now and it probably won't fit everything uh no so it doesn't show anything we actually are working with quite uh large values so 
I got a window here prepared for you. Uh, we're going to let x min be 0. And just be careful here. The reason why I'm using 0 as an x min is that you know that x represents some t sort of width. So it's the width of the border. You know that x can't be negative because there's no such thing as a negative width. So that's why I'm restricting. Oh, sorry about that. That's why I'm restricting my x min values to just show 0. So 0, and my x max will leave as 10. And then we'll leave the scale. And then my y min, we're going to keep it. We're not going to show negative values. So 0. And we're actually going to go with a y max of 5,000. So it's quite a large number, but it's going to work. OK, and add another 0. And to make it look pretty, Try a scale of 500. So when you're doing your questions, you have to play around with the window quite a bit to show everything on the graph. So if we try it, it should give me a nicer curve. Oh, there we go. So we're going to work with this graph to find the area. OK, so there's three different values we need to evaluate the function with. OK, so let's try x is equal to 2.5. Now there's a nifty tool on your calculator that you may have known about already. So uh, the tool is you're going to go second trace. I'm going to pick one for value. And what that allows you to do is to plug in any x value and it's going to give you the corresponding y value. So put in 2.5 and it's going to give you a corresponding y value and that y value is located right there. So that means when x is equal to 2.5, the area is equal to 2,475. So area is equal to 2,000. 475 centimeters squared. Okay, so let's keep going here. We want to find an area between 3,500 3, and 4,000. So this value does not actually work. So it's between these two. Okay, so let's go ahead and evaluate my next x value at 5. Okay, so open it up and you're going to go back to your, oh yeah, we're good here. So go second trace. Select one for value again, and you're going to put in a positive five, and then it's going to spit out a y value of 3,000. So 3,000 is my corresponding area, but unfortunately, it still doesn't reach the requirements because it's not between these two values. So by process of elimination, we know this is going to work. But to confirm that, let's actually evaluate it into my in my calculator. So go second trace, two for zero. Oh, sorry, yeah, two for one for value. Sorry, not zero, one for value. And you're going to evaluate it when x is equal to 7.5. And you're going to press enter. And my y value is 3,575, which reach, reaches my requirements. 3,000, I just want to confirm that, 575 centimeters squared. So the only x value that reaches my requirements is this one. So my answer is 7.5 centimeters. So that is the border that just comes by so that it re reaches her area requirements. And uh, that's how you solve a problem using a polynomial.